guess what we're going to do? Even better. Even. You know what? Yeah. What? I like to blow something up. And learn about God. So what I'm going to do, we're going to actually construct a battlefield. Because I want to see what the biggest cannon in the world would do to a bunch of army soldiers. So, let's see here. I'll be right back. Ow! Ow! After... It's still there. Okay. Okay. You know what this is? This is a cannon. Now, we have to set it just right. And then, let's see here. Woohoo! That's a lot. Okay. We got to make a little powder trail. Because when the cannon goes off, if it misses, it'll still burn everyone up. So we got to have everything sitting just perfectly here. Um, what are we missing? Oh, yeah. We need the army guys. Need to put the matches right there so I don't lose them. And this has to be right there. Um... Army Good idea. Okay, I got him. I got him. So now, all we have to do is put the army guys right here. You guys ever been to a war zone? What? Well, hold on, hold on. We got to put these all in perfect order so we can have a battlefield. Because when the cannon goes off, this guy's going to lay right there. We got a helicopter. We'll put it back here. This guy's foot's blown. Huh. He can be right there. And this guy's not all there. So you got to have a body on the battlefield. Okay. And a damsel in distress. So... They are guarding the princess. So, wait a minute. Where's the cannon? Oh, there it is. There it is. Why did I? I don't remember putting it there. Now, where's the matches? I bet I left them back there. I gotta get some sand anyway because we gotta make a beach scene. I'll be right back. Good idea. Okay. some sand here so that our soldiers are going to Where are they at? Did they start fighting without 
help me? Yeah. Where's the cannon? The cannon's not destroyed. And then, does anyone know it? No. We have, we have a commie among us. He's destroyed our army and took our cannon. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. This is getting frustrating. The princess was there. He was there. Stand up. Just lay there. He was here because he's in half. Um. Huh. What in tarnation? <laughs> what in tarnation? It was you. What was me? Was it you, Mama? <laughs> Where's the what? cannon? What cannon? I am trying. To keep everything organized, yeah. like a real battlefield, and then every time I come out, everything's gone. Oh, well, I had nothing to do with that. I just seen that you had a guy up here that couldn't stand up, and you assumed that he was supposed to. Yeah, but... And I thought, you know... The problem is... You that, want everything to be perfect. It has to be absolutely perfect, just the way it was. In my mind. Well, what I thought of it. That isn't the way the world is, and that certainly isn't the way the battlefield is. See, when the first bullet starts flying, every all the battle plans change. And then you adjust. Well, if you let that cannon off, as soon as that cannon goes, you know, and this guy's in like seven chunks. Yeah, he already is. Yeah, he is. Um, and this guy... He's laying on his face. That guy, yeah, and he's got blood on his, on his knuckle area. You know, the things change. And, you know, you got to be... Somehow, Bucky won. You, Bucky won? Well, I won, I won Bucky. <laughs> you have to start trusting that Jesus knows what he's doing and that his plans are greater than your plans. And even when it doesn't look like he's a bit at all around he is in charge and he can keep you safe and he can keep you um and keep your buddies all safe and he's the one that wins the battle it oh. isn't us and our plans now i'm not saying cannon? you can't i don't you can't know have a war without a cannon well that could be true but i didn't take the cannon now we can't. i don't have a cannon you can you can frisk me. I don't have no cannon. We can't, we can't save the princess oh. anymore. But you have what you have. And if you're smart, you'll have the peace of Jesus. And I know you're smart. Yeah. You can do the whole, the whole two plus <laughs> two thing. You know, um, I was going to let this ruin my whole day. You were? Yeah. Well, that's what I was afraid of. I was I standing back there fruit. watching, and you were about ready to come apart at, at, right at the seam, malaria. So normally, seams. I don't normally get upset, but I thought about it for a week. I had it perfectly planned out. Yeah, but did you pray? No. See, it was your plan. It wasn't God's. Okay, so he didn't want me to light off the biggest pile of powder in the world with yeah. the cannon. I don't know that. Maybe something bad was going to happen. Maybe. Maybe my plan seemed cool, but something bad would have happened. Yep. Because I was going to do it bigger and better than ever. Yeah. Well, sometimes that's the last time. Well, then what I'll do, okay. I'll put all this away. All right. And then I'll go pray and have a different idea. I'll trust Jesus. That's what I would do, yes, because, you know, we're learning today about getting our daily bread. Jesus bread? gives us exactly what we need. Our daily bread? Well, you know, how many people like to eat at least once I'm a day? I'm hungry. The, the boys don't. They, 
They don't like to eat a ferret. Well, a couple of them do. Three of them do. Huh? He likes to eat. Yeah, he's smart, huh? You okay. Betcha. You know, if things keep going the way they've been going, when we leave, this sand will clean itself up. There you go. <laughs> That's a pretty good idea. And now, it's time for the Bible. It's... <laughs> All right. Well, this week, we're going to talk about one of my favorite stories of the whole Bible. Have you guys heard of Moses? Yes, yes. Yeah? No. He was the one that God appeared to in a burning bush. He also brought the Ten Commandments down the mountain. Yeah. Well, for a while, in Israel, Moses was the one that God talked to. And then Moses had to go tell the people of Israel what God had said. But did you know that the Israelites wandered in a desert for like 40 years? Yeah? yeah. One would wonder how would their needs be met? It was, a, it was like a desert wilderness. I mean, where are you going to get food and water? So before we get head on into this, I'm going to have a video for you, but first, you guys remember the Lord's Prayer? Yeah. I don't want to spoil the whole lesson, so if we can pull up the Lord's Prayer. We started on this weeks and weeks ago. Jesus. Yeah, we're going to do the whole prayer. Our PowerPoint is give us each day our daily bread, but I can go over the Lord's Prayer with you. If you remember, stay along. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. And all the faith kids said? Amen! So, if you go through that, we've been talking about little parts of it every week. So the part, give us this day our daily bread, what we're asking our Father is to provide our needs. Provide all our needs for us. Because, I mean, some of us think, oh, I, I got a job, I know how to hunt, I can provide for myself. But can you really? Would any of that stuff be there if God didn't put it there for you? So we ask God every day to provide for us. But I don't want to spoil it. I want you to see the story out of Exodus and how it transpires. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, hey. who was an Israelite born in Egypt in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. Wait, huh? Moses, however, grew up in the palace of the Pharaoh, the very man who was enslaving the Israelite people. When Moses grew up, he made a big mistake wow. and fled Egypt wow. to live with the Midianites. Ah. But God called Moses back to Egypt ah. to deliver his people with the help of his brother Aaron. Ooh. After God showed his miraculous power in Egypt, he led the Israelites through the Red Sea and towards the Promised Land. They followed God who showed himself as a cloud by day and fire by night. As God led them through the wilderness, the Israelites became thirsty and hungry. Uh. They complained to Moses and Aaron uh. and said, if only we had died in Egypt. Huh? God said to Moses that he would provide for his people. Hey! Each morning they awoke and found manna for the day. What's that? And each night God gave them meat.
<laughs> the people were still thirsty, and they were mad at Moses, saying, Did you bring us out here to die of thirst? Yeah. So Moses cried out to God, and God told Moses to strike a rock, and water came flowing out of it for the people to drink. And so the Lord provided for his people's needs. After traveling in the desert for three months, they came to Mount Sinai, and God called Moses from the top of the mountain. God spoke to Moses there of the future of his people and reminded him of the miracles of the past. After three days, there was thunder and lightning as a thick cloud covered the mountain. The people heard a loud trumpet blast. And Moses led people to the foot of the mountain to meet with God. God told them how his people were to live and how they were to honor him and respect each other. The Israelites had seen for themselves that God had spoken to Moses from heaven. These rules that God told them are called the Ten Commandments. And the Israelites feared God, for his mighty power had brought them out of slavery and provided for them in the desert. So, you guys know what these are? Ten Commandments, yeah. I didn't know we were going to learn about that today. So, Moses led the people, with God's help, all through the wilderness. Now, you remember that white stuff they called manna that appeared on the ground? It was every morning. They'd wake up and there'd be, you guys know what dew is when the grass is wet in the morning? Well, it would look like dew, and as the dew would go away, there'd be little spots of bread everywhere. Manna was basically a bread, and they would gather it. But, I mean, think about that. God cares enough for his people that he puts bread on the ground every morning, provides quail, which would probably taste like chicken. So, bread and chicken, right? A quail? It's a bird, basically. I think it tastes like chicken or a pheasant. But think about it. That's an absolute miracle. Just wake up and there's bread from heaven on the ground. So God cares enough about Israel. And did you know, you and I, if we believe in Jesus, we are grafted in. We are Israel. We are his Israel. He cares about all of us. He will meet all our needs. So that's what you're asking him. Give us this day our daily bread. And he will meet your needs. I mean, everybody here is wearing clothes. Everybody here lives in a house, right? I think he's meeting our needs pretty well, especially in America. So what's our PowerPoint? It's a trick PowerPoint. Jesus gives us exactly what we need. And he always will. You can trust him. And in your Bible at home, you can read about that story in the book of Exodus chapter 16. You guys read your Bible sometimes? Good. You don't have one? Talk to Pastor MJ about that. All right, you guys. I will see you next time. Because I'm... I'm Richard Rick. I own Aftershock Inn. I'm the CEO, and I got all my money into it. Let me see how it's doing. Oh, I got what? It's doing really well. It's up in the stocks. Yeah, I can go buy a mansion and man, and all this. What is this? Oh, I get my own music? That's awesome! Because I'm doing so well! So really well! Hey! Hey! You're pretty happy! I am! What's going on? You know what? I you mind if I sit down? Go right ahead! All right, thank you very much! I am the owner of Aftershock Inn. And according to this stock here, 
See? Yeah. It's it's doing really well. And what does that mean? That means I get lots of money. And I can go buy a bunch of stuff. I can go buy my mountain. I can go can, buy my mountain. It's, and my big Can I, let truck. Me see. Can, can yeah. I look at that just? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it says here, yes. This is like yesterday's paper. Yesterday's okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I can handle that. Uh, you know? Well, well you move on. I got, I got today's paper here. Sure, it's a little wet, but oh. but you may want to read your stock quotes today, huh? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. I know it opens up. It only costs two dollars for all you people that are in it. What? Yeah, what is right? What? Yeah. <laughs> I lost everything. It's gone! An aftershock took it! Yeah, I was thinking it's that. It's gone! I was thinking that earlier. Oh. I didn't want to, I wanted to dance with you when oh. you were happy. And I, I could cry, but, but, uh, so what does this mean to you? I have no stock. It know. means that I've lost everything. No money's going to be coming in. I can't, I can't afford this. I can't even afford a meal. A meal? Yeah, I well, can't afford nothing. Well, you know, I got to be honest with you. The Lord gives me all I need every day. What? And I don't own nothing except these bib overalls. No. And this wife beater T-shirt. You know, I was always, uh, you know, yeah, I always had to work for everything. Well, work hard. And well, I do work. Don't get me wrong. I work. I just don't have anything. I don't know. I just, if I get something, I give it to somebody else, and and the Lord just takes care of me. I'll bet you. I'll bet you right now, I can go get a garbage can and we can get ourselves a meal out of it. Ah. You want to bet? Nah. You got nothing to bet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got nothing to bet. I got a newspaper <laughs> to bet. <laughs> Maybe. I kicked him. Yeah, I don't know. Eating out of the garbage can. Uh-huh. Looky here, looky here. It's, well, Ooh. somebody cleaned that up pretty good. Ow. Must have been somebody pretty thirsty. Ooh. Yeah, look. look. Oh, that looks, looks like somebody like, licked like that, that clean, clean too. Phew. Yeah. Well, looky here. Oh. oh my. A napkin. <laughs> Woo. Does it look clean? Yeah, I might have a couple specks on it. <laughs> Looky here. I feel this feels good. Oh, you it, got it's got the right color to it. No green. One I, bite. It looks what? like a couple bites. Out. <laughs> That's one bite. I don't bite. know. That woman's got a big mouth. Wow. Friend, apparently. <laughs> one bite. You want to? Uh, no, no, no. no well, wait a minute. Let me look deeper. Okay. Uh, hey, it looks like one here with no bites on no it. No bites? Hey, you wow. like You like hamburgers? I do. But, you know, but that's just not my... Hey, you know, I'm used to... You, you're a rich guy, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm used to chicken. All right. And all well, let's see what we got stuff. here. This looks like it might have been prepared by a, a chef. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What's the... Oh, I see. <gasps> Look at that roasted chicken. Chicken! Yeah, would that do you? That would. All right. That yeah. would do me. All right, you have that. That was me. The, um, that was in the garbage. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah, didn't you know that? <laughs> you know, one of the most one one of the most righteous guys in the whole Bible. God fed with the ravens, and I don't know about you, but I've seen what ravens eat. And I'll bet you they weren't giving Elijah the best stuff either. Mm. So you gotta be, you gotta allow God to feed you how He will. Mm. But most of the time, He wants you to eat good, clean food. There's no doubt about that. But you don't get teeth like this by doing that. 
So, if you don't want your teeth to look like this, I suggest not eating out of the garbage can unless you really have lost your fortune. Yeah. So, you and me, we can be back here tomorrow and see what that little rascal yeah. comes up with, huh? You know what? I can take this home to my wife. Too. Yeah. All right. If there's still a home left there. Yeah. You know, you just never know. And I tell you, I know some good places to sleep, too. <laughs> You want me to bite the burger? No, 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 Exactly what we need. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll take the steak. Thanks. Rare, please. It's it's already open. Oh. I said a steak, not a stick. Oh, no, 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 sir. That is a steak. That's um, a meatless steak. That's an oxymoron. Sir, it's what's on the menu, and that's what we're serving today. Steak. That is steak. This... This is, there's way too much fiber in this. Fiber there's, is good for like you. Like a steak is protein, lady. This is fiber. Uh, look, I think there's some protein in that. I'm sure you can look in Yeah, this. maybe in the color crayon or something. Look, don't make fun of my food or don't come to my restaurant. This isn't your restaurant. Holy cow. You get paid $5 an hour and now you're king. I want the owner now. Look, you're, sir, you're starting to make me fired up. Okay, no tip for you. <laughs> Moving on. Right. What's going on here? I gave him a steak, and he won't accept my steak. This isn't steak. That is good steak. This is art. Max. Whatever. Max. This is art. Let me look at that. Thank you. Finally, hey. say something nice about my steak. Hey! What? Oh, sorry, sir, boss. Just because I let you eat out of the garbage cans behind the restaurant doesn't make you a cook. Look, I can be whatever you want me to be, and I will be your cook, your waiter. I need to find somewhere else to eat. Max, Max, Max. What? You have been coming here for years. Yeah, and I'm not anymore. Don't let this That's mistake so ruin our friendship, Max. I'm not letting the mistake, but th does my food come from the garbage can too? Max. That is not good. You, that hey, is oh, not. Hey, zip. Zip it. Yeah. Just go right out back. Max. <laughs> this is a big mistake. <laughs> no, this is, this, this is not a big steak. This is not a big steak. I, all I want is a steak. Come on. Is it coming? Or is this the end? Okay. Can I just wrap it okay. up? Okay, okay. I dealt with the problem. Max. Uh-huh. I'm sorry, but... Look at that. Uh, the same steak you order every time. Uh-huh. Oh, Max. She gave you plastic silverware. 
It ain't even silverware. It's plasticware. Is that is that grass? I'm or grass seed? I'm. I don't know. I mean, it, it looks. It looks. It kind of looks like it got ran over in, in a hayfield. You know what, Max? I need that one. I, need, I, 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 I would. think so too. So what's the point of this thing? Uh, you tell me. Fiber's good. Okay. Good. good. Okay. There is a point. There is. There's always a point. <laughs> now, be careful with the silverware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't stick it in a light socket. Okay. What's our point? What? So here's the point. Man. The other one, Max, the other one is real meat. It's not a vegan burger. It's real meat. It just happens to have something on it. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a vegetarian steak. It looks it's like it came out of the rear end of a horse. But, okay, what's our PowerPoint? <laughs> yes. <laughs> So even though Max and I have been friends for a long time, as his friend and local business owner, Max, mm -hmm. sometimes friends will fail you, sometimes a stranger will fail you, but God will never fail you. He will always meet your needs. You okay. Know what you now, know what else? That is a good steak. I'm going to take it back. You know what else you should thank God That's for? That's the whole problem. You didn't say grace, Max. You, you know what else is, is really good that, that God's going to provide? What? A 20% gratuity. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Not from me, though. In the name of Jesus. In fact, Jesus says, that he was the way, the truth, and the life. And no one, no one could come to the Father. No one could be saved except through Jesus. In the world we live in, people are saying, well, there's a many ways that lead to heaven. But that isn't what Jesus said. And I know that the people that are saying there's many ways to get to heaven... The thing that I know most about them is they aren't Jesus. If Jesus tells me there's one way to get to heaven, I'm going to go with that way. I'm not going to go with Johnny Bill down the street. And I don't think he knows what he's talking about. I know this, that Jesus came to this earth and lived a sinless life. Because none of us did. See, Scripture says that we have all sinned. We've all sinned. We've all fallen short of what God expected of us. And you could blame yourself if you wanted to. But God puts the blame, rightly, on Adam and Eve. And that sin came down through the generations to your parents. And then to you. And Jesus broke. Jesus broke that curse that was put on in the Garden of Eden where Adam ate, Adam and Eve ate from the apple that God says, don't eat from that. Jesus went to a different garden, the Garden of Gethsemane. And he asked... If there be any way, let me not eat of that. But, the, but the, the thing that he had to do, he had to do, and the thing that they did, they shouldn't have done. 
God, Jesus turned that over. And we've said the four things, that God loves us, and he does, and that Jesus died for us, that we have sinned, and Jesus died for our sin. He's the only one that ever did. And you can't die for your own sin because you don't have, because you're, you're not the Lamb of God. But he said whoever believes that he died for him and would confess with their mouth and believe in their heart, they shall be saved. And they'll live forever in heaven with God the Father and Jesus. And if you've never done that, but you'd like to, and you believe Jesus died on that cross for your sin and for my sin, would you stand up? And would you pray with me? Dear Lord Jesus, I thank you for loving me, for recognizing that I'm a sinner and I can't quit. I can't make it right. But I can trust you. I can trust that you didn't sin and your death on that cross is enough to save me. Enough to make me right. Jesus, I ask you to come into my heart and be my Lord. Be my Savior. Be my leader and my Lord. And I ask you to speak to me. Tell me what I need to do to serve you, to please you. Jesus, I thank you. Help me to be all you made me to be. And all the faith kids said, Amen. Amen. All right. Frank! Frank! What? Settle down, man. You know, I'm, I'm like upset here. Why? Why you let us on all these drills, let us out out there, and there's no food. Just build. I can't. I'm hungry. Fr Frank. You should have just let, let us stay back at the barracks. There's been food there. Now where are we? Where are we? We're way out in the boondocks. Oh, you know, looks like we're in the Gravitron, if you ask me. Well, it feels like it. I'm hungry. Frank, all you've been doing on this whole hike is complain, complain, complain. You didn't even carry any firewood. Well, I even tried digging up for a worm, and I couldn't find a worm to eat. You keep digging, Frank. You keep digging. I will. Because if you get some worms, we could go catch a fish. Well, I don't see no crack. What do you want God to do? Just throw an MRE out of the sky? Well, it'd be nice. I'm hungry. Larry, I'm Larry. Larry is telling you, Foxhole. What? You can't just ask God to provide everything. Sometimes you got to do it yourself. Dig up some worms. We'll go catch some fish. Hard dirt. Not right there, Frank. In the woods. In the woods. Right. God does provide for us all the time. I mean, every time I've ever needed anything, God always provided. That better be a bag of worms, Frank. Bag of worms? 
that's an MRE. Yeah! A meal ready to eat. This is a real military meal, Frank. Yeah! Where'd you get it? I was digging and digging and digging, and all of a sudden, the... there it was! You found this buried back there? Yeah! What's the date on this? This has been here since Vietnam. Nice! It should still be good. Yeah! A lot of preservatives! I was just telling anyone who would hear that God really does provide. I was even getting ready to pray, Frank. Whew, I didn't tell you, but I was getting nervous myself. I'm hungry. Yeah! Well, what's our PowerPoint? I mean, it didn't fall out of the sky, but it could have. Instead, it's like it's been there for us for years. Yeah. Like God thought of us before we were even here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay, kids. You guys just remember. You want to be a soldier?